morning, fourth graders. Today for math, we are classifying quadrilaterals. Okay, so we are on page 567 in your workbook. And if you count down about half the page, you are going to see the definitions for each quadrilateral. This has kind of been our theme this chapter, that the first page ends up being the page that we need to keep in order to really succeed at IXL. So this is the page you're going to want to keep in order to succeed on IXL. We have five different kinds of quadrilaterals that we're going to be talking about today. <clears throat> we have the trapezoid, which has one pair of parallel sides. We have the parallelogram, that has two pairs of parallel sides and two pairs of sides of equal length. Remember, parallel means the sides can go on for hundreds of miles and they are never going to touch. When you look at these dash marks, that means that those sides are the same length. So these have two dashes, both of those sides are the same length. These sides both have one dash, that means those two sides are the same length. <clears throat> You have a rhombus, which is a tilted square, where all four sides are the same length and two sides are parallel. You have a rectangle, where two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of sides of equal length, and four right angles. And you have a square, two pairs of parallel sides, four sides of equal length, and four right angles. Remember, this symbol <clears throat> is our symbol for right angles. So go ahead and get out a red, a blue, and an orange, and meet me down here at the bottom. All right, so the first color is red. They want exactly four right angles. So look at your eight shapes. Remember what the right angle sign is? Which one of these has exactly four right angles? Color it red. If you colored this guy red, you are correct. All right, now get out your blue. <clears throat> blue ones have exactly two right angles. So look for your right angle symbol. If you decided that this one had two right angles, you were correct. And last but not least, they want us to use orange for one right angle. Look for the symbol. If you chose this one, you were correct. We are going to do IXL for homework today. Okay? IXL is going to have you classifying your quadrilateral. So IXL is X9, and if you use the book, you will succeed on this IXL. The first one says select all the rhombuses. Well, I can go back to my page, and I can see that a rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides, four sides of equal length. So IXL put the lengths on there for me. Equal length, parallel sides, yes. Equal length, yes. Equal length. Yes, all three of those are rhombuses. Again, select all the rhombuses. Remember, rhombuses have four sides of equal length. 13, 13, 17, 17? No. 1, 1, 1, 1? Yes. 15, 15, 10, and 25? No. That's that guy. Select all the rectangles. You can go back if you forgot that a rectangle has four right angles and two sides with two equal lengths on them. These two guys are going to stick out as rectangles. Select all the parallelograms. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides and two pairs of sides of equal length. Let's see. Parallel sides, parallel sides, parallel sides. All right. So make sure you are using this page to help you on IXL and you will fly right through it and you will get a great score on it. If you have any questions, don't forget to call me. Bye guys.